Hit the bell icon on YouTube app and never miss any update from Mobizium. Hi guys, I welcome you all to Mobizium. There are a lot of Avon devices now, say Micromax Avon, Geoni Avon, and now MI Avon, which is globally known as MI 5X, but here in India it is called as MI Avon. This phone is backed by Google's stock Android, and many claims are made that it looks like OnePlus, but we don't feel it that way. As soon as the tech giants companies like Apple and Samsung unveil something new, something that has not been done before, then the companies that target the mid-range phone market try to mimic those new technologies in their phone to lure as many users as possible. And to be honest, this has worked every time. Like take the dual camera innovation of Apple in iPhone 7 Plus. Now you can see dual camera setup in phones which cost you what 10,000 rupees. And similarly, the MI phones, which are quite popular in Indian market, release their budget-friendly phone with dual camera setup, that is MI A1. Now, it is not only famous because of its camera, but also it comes with stock Android. MI and stock Android, quite surprise, right? But you remember the Android One program started in India in 2014? Like the one in which the phones were manufactured by Micromax and the software was provided by Google. But now what happens is the phone is manufactured by MI and the latest software is provided by Google. I'll start with a quick unboxing to show you what you get with the device. There's the device first, it feels slightly heavy and gives a nice foam grip. Next we get is a box which has a SIM ejector tool. Let me open the box and see what else we get. There's a big charger. It has an output rating of 5 volts at 2 ampere. We get some papers, the manual guide and warranty card and stuff. And finally we get a type C USB cable which is really 2017. And yet again no earphones. I don't understand the reason why MI always skips the earphones for a phone which cost you this amount of money. Anyway I'll quickly set up the phone. So here is the phone running stock Android. It has some apps from MI which are MI Store, Remote Community and Feedback app and everything else is stock. Let me give you a physical overview of this phone. The phone is made full of metal. The construction is somewhat similar to OnePlus 5. The chamfered edges are sharp but the 2.5D glass doesn't let you feel the sharp edges. The black color of the phone perfectly blends with the antenna bands. It's like it's not even there. The phone is slightly heavy on paper but doesn't feel heavy when you hold it. At the top you get a secondary mic and an air blaster which is something rare to find in a phone that comes with stock Android. Which is why MI provided the MI remote app. On the left there's a hybrid SIM tray, the power buttons are on the right and just about it is the volume rocker keys. The buttons are soft on press and feels very tactile. At the bottom we get a headphone jack, primary mic, latest USB type C port and a loudspeaker and there's no dual stereo speaker in this phone. The capacitor buttons have backlight if you look closely and it also has the notification LED lights. The fingerprint sensor is at the back which is something I like and it takes around 0.5 seconds to unlock the phone. Phone. The rear dual camera is of 12 megapixel and the other one is of 12 megapixel telephoto lens for 2x zoom. The dual tone LED flash is placed here at the top left and the MI with Android One branding at the bottom. The display is 1080 resolution which has a good viewing angle. In fact, most of the MI phones have great display and the touch is sensitive. Let me show you the Android version it is running on and while I was setting up the phone I already received two security updates for the month of August and September and it was a big update of 1 GB. So the phone now runs on latest Nougat 7.1.2 update. The storage we get is about 48 GB free space out of 58 GB. The user experience is smooth as of now but let us see how would it perform when we load it with many apps. We would tell you that in our full review video. The phone packs all the mid-range specifications that is it comes with 5.5 inch 1080p screen, 3000 mAh battery, 64 GB of storage and a RAM of 4 GB, Snapdragon 625 processor and a 5 megapixel of front camera. Let me show you the images captured from this device. Here are the photo previews that I took. The photos came quite okay in artificial lightings and the colors also look good. But we'll test the camera thoroughly in our full review video. We'll also be doing battery and overall performance test with it. So this was a quick overview of MI Avon. We will be doing a full review video of it and we will also be comparing it with other devices as requested by you guys. So stay tuned and subscribe to our channel Mobizium for such tech videos. And if you want to watch tech videos in Hindi, then we have our Hindi channel as well, Mobizium Hindi. Visit it and subscribe to it as well. Thank you so much for watching. This is Ruchisha from Mobizium signing off.